here we are in beautiful Chellington Valley. No degrees. I've just moved down here. Thought I'd get rid of everything that I owned. People were telling me I was crazy, but I'm gonna open up my own farm. I'm down at the John Deere shop because I wouldn't mind picking up a nice motor. So we can have a look around, see what uh, houses are available, what farms. I think I'm just going to go straight in for the pickup. But it's got to get the V8 in, hasn't it? Got to get the V8. Decided to completely sell up. As you can see, I've got £695,000. Just bought this which obviously I had to upgrade to the V8 so first up I'm gonna go and have a look at some houses looking at the map I wanna head towards the 106 region down at the bottom so let's go and have a look it's a beautiful day the fairgrounds in town I know my way around because I've been down here a couple of times on holiday and things, there's a speed camera up here so I'm going to slow down a bit. Been down here on some family holidays and it was always a bit of a dream to maybe get a farm down here, live the life of luxury. That's what I'm going to do, so I'm going to head up, have a look at some plots of land for the farm and um, get myself uh, a nice plot of land and try and make myself as a farmer. I don't really know what I'm doing on the farm so feel free to drop any comments in of what you think I should and shouldn't be doing. But this is just the start of the journey. I'm led towards around 108. I'm sure he indicated then and carried on. <laughs> what a character. I'm led towards 108 and then um, we'll have a look what we've got. I've got enough money I think to get a couple of plots because I might uh, take a loan out. I'm looking at these two on the right and this one on the left. Um, I'll have a look at this one first. I want it to be relatively flat because I'm wanting to build a house there as well so we'll just drop car on side here and have a look. Let's have a gander. Seems quiet up here as well. When I've been here before, there's never anyone really around. This map changes with the season, so could be a good little area. Let's get this gate open. Robert Cook. I might be having a word with you soon, Robert. Yeah, I want it to be my home as well, so I'm thinking if I could kind of tarmac all this off. Obviously, it takes a bit of the land off me and whatnot, but. I need somewhere to sleep, can't be farming 24-7. This looks ideal actually. I think I'm just going to get straight in there. I've heard there's another offer so no games, I'm getting straight in. Let's have a look. 168, 117% expected yield, not bad because I have got um, I've got the precision farming on so no games. I'm in. New life begins. Right, I'm thinking. Nice little pathway up here leading to a house. Let's just set up home for this first episode. Day 1, 9.28. 1 degree is a bit cool. Looking at the plant in here, I'm uh, I'm thinking about going for some alfalfa, maybe, but we'll get to that later. First up, let's get some. Uh, let's make this place home. Thinking bit of a stony patch, maybe, make it a bit bigger. So we come in. Gosh, let's just get this done.
Looking forward to life up here though. Nice little quiet village. I think it'll do me good. Nice little entrance bit. Maybe just a little bit more. First things first, let's get uh, let's get a get a house knocked in. So not messing about. This is my land now, this is my home. Quite handy here actually as well, because there's water next door, so I might be able to source some water from there when we need it later. Which would be handy that it's right on my doorstep. So that's that bit done. Alright, let's see what we've got. We've got a few mods, but um I'm not gonna do many, but I do like this farmhouse. Get builders in to get this one whipped up for me. Let's be honest, no place is home without a dog, so let's get a little dog boat. Be a nice life for him. Right. Could do with a shed and all, but I know what's going to happen. We have no money left that time I've done here, so we might just start quite small, get a five Dora. Bosh. I know people are probably thinking you're just ruining the land, but worry not. It'll all come good when it's done. You'll see it at the end and you'll say, yes, that is that is the one. There we go. Let's go in and have a look what we've got. So the new home. Nice. It's a close gate behind me. A few trees, got some automatic lights so when it gets late at night I can see where I'm going. House there, dog. My garage. I'll not put the car in the garage. So I'll look there we go in here. Don't want to run the dog over. Where is he? The dog, if you're wondering, is called Sam. I'm going to introduce you. Come here, Sam. Where are you going? Come on. He loves hiding behind there, does our Sam. I'll stick him some food down. There you go, youth. Enjoy. Some plant parts. Nice little rocking chair. I'll take you in to have a look at the house. It has got seasons as well as I say, so when it snows this is going to be ideal with the little log fire going. Yeah, I mean the contractors have left now, so it's just me here. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, get a plough, because this field needs ploughing, and we'll get his first crop put in. This is a really nice touch actually, it's big enough to store a lot of my things in. I'm down to 330,000 but we'll make it work because I've got a few contracts that I'll be able to do. So I'm going to get bus, I'm going to leave the car there, get bus down to the shop because I'm not going to be able to bring a tractor back and my car so I'll leave that there. And we'll go and see what local bus service is like. Beautiful day though, absolutely stunning. Early spring, two degrees, half ten. As I say, this water might be ideal to come down and get. Just having a look at the surroundings. Bus stops quite a way away. But we'll get there, I'll have a quick look over here actually. This is nice, I should introduce myself. 
think it's Margaret Biggles way, but it doesn't look like she's in. Probably shouldn't just go straight to her window. Margaret? Margaret! Are they in? No, she's not in. I'll meet her another day. Anthony Morgan owes this. Not for long, because I've got eyes on this, but I need to earn some money first. But I won't mind that one. Ideal next door to me, other. Right, let's get down to the shop and get this uh, get this equipment so we can get today started. Because day one, I wanted to leave contractors finishing the house. They've done that. Just had a couple of coffees, so I'm buzzing. So down to the shop and get my uh, stop. Margaret! Ah, she's definitely not there. Right, anyway, let's get to the shop. We're back, pretty handy actually. Bus drops you off right outside shop, so in we go. Gonna pick up. Um, I don't know where to go for the John Deere actually. They are nice uh, tractors, but we'll have a look. We'll have a look what we've got. I just need next door actually. Bob might be in. Bob. No, there's literally no one in on this game. Right, what should we go for? Definitely the plough. Could probably get away with a small one actually. Just to start. Fear. <whistles> Luxury. I don't know where to just go straight in with medium actually. I do like the six M's, but there's a JVC one that's nice actually as well in this shop. I saw it in catalogue. Let's have a look. This one. That's literally all my money gone. Can't go for that straight away, can we? Might start with a cheapo John Deere 6M series. They are nice, aren't they? I mean, you've got to say they are nice. That'll do me. It does look a nice tractor. The only issue is driving through town with this beast. Might be a bit of a nightmare, but we'll find out. Oh, look at this. This is nice. Let's have a look in. I like it. Let's start her up. Oh, I do like it. Let's get back to the farm. Just let him go past. It's the only trouble with this plough, it is a big end, so it takes some game through, but I've got my lights on, so it's all let him go past. But, um, it does get everything done, it's a shame it doesn't fold up. People have to expect it in a farming community. It's uh, just have a quick look right corner, make sure there's no one coming, be sensible, and you can get these things back. A little farm bit here as well, um, some livestock on your right hand side that will be coming up shortly. I think it's sheep, cows. The dream eventually to get into all that kind of thing. Someone's coming again, so we'll just let them go. You're welcome. Not a problem at all. Right. Up we go. And that is why I like being up here, because you don't get many people, so it's, uh, it's nice up here actually. It's nice and quiet. Love this new track to look at how clean it is. Won't be clean for long. I can't believe it. Wait till the uh, my friend's WhatsApp group sees this. I'm actually farming. 
I'm going against the grain a little bit here as you can tell I've decided um, it's just for my benefit the neighbours have given me permission to use their land so I can quickly turn round it's just easier turning round and going towards the fence which is where it was originally doing I can just turn round and get it done a lot quicker just for me I might have been completely wrong best not going to close, that wouldn't be the best idea would it? I'll turn round the other way instead I'm a bit of a neat freak as well when it comes to limes but that may change, I'm new to farming so it's, it's all new to me text through saying my uh, swimming pool has been delivered <laughs> not got a lot of money but gone and bought a swimming pool that's the kind of guy I can see the new pool let's get this next pass done and we'll go and have a look yeah looks nice this this will be nice in summer like it just a quick dip in there can see it now, field absolutely full of crops. Summer's here, jumping pool in the morning, and then off to work. Looks ideal to me. Right back to it. Let's get rest of this uh, get rest of this field sorted. Plowed. First field done. We've got a home set up. Tomorrow I'm going to wake up as we're approaching our four. I think it's a little bit late now, so I'm going to wake up tomorrow, get the early bus down into town, go to the shop. I've got a few letters I need to drop off, so I'll nip to the post office. Obviously, after a coffee, pick up my. Um, fertilizer get this field fertilized and then we'll get on to the exciting part of seeing what we're going to plant so for now I'm going to go in crack open a bottle of rum or some whiskey and chill out in this beautiful evening air see you in the morning Sam Look after yourself mate, there you go, get some of that down you. past seven I'm up quite early this morning but I want to get cracking on with fertilizing and seeding this field oh slept like a log last night don't know who's moved my chair in the evening that's a bit odd some sort of random chair mover put that back right I'm gonna nip down to the shop Lovely morning again.
Here's a beautiful morning again though in Chillington Valley. Quiet though this morning, which is good. Get this up uh, early before we get any traffic. I think we have forecast there might be some rain tomorrow, so I do want to get this done today. Get this done and then mix it pub. I think there's a pub around there. Don't think the shop opens till nine, but I got down here early. We get parked up, and uh, we'll go and get ourselves a uh, coffee. I think there's some shops right corner, so and I've got a few things I need to drop off at post office. So I'm gonna nip back into town. I just want to leave that there. Nip back into town, grab a coffee, grab a little bit of brekkie post this letter and we'll come back down. Just grab my breakfast from Butchers. Gonna nip down to the uh, to the shop, to the petrol station. Grab a coffee from the machine. Nice day again, bit, uh, bit chilly but nice day. Go and grab his coffee and then we'll get to the bus stop. The world is waking up. But we've got stuff to do, so let's get to this bus stop. Let's have a look at time it's coming. Sandy Bay. Well, we're going down there for me all it is when all this is done. Looks nice. Right, let's wait for the bus. Comes at ten past and then we'll get down to the shop. Right, we're back. We're open. I think it opened at 8 o'clock today actually. Should have known, but I've got my errands done anyway, so can't complain. Let's see what fertilizers we've got. That Taurus looks a nice bit of kit. Tempted to go for the solid fertilizer. It is a bit more expensive, but um, I think I do prefer it. We'll go for that one. Should be filling. Oh, if there's enough, eight percent. Um, I'm going to put another bag in because I don't trust. Uh, don't trust it. Eight percent. It's not really a lot, is it? So we'll get another just to be sure. That should be enough. It's going to put me to like sixteen percent into it. Yeah, should be enough. We'll find out. much of this it's gonna get hopefully quite a lot and find out let's have a look pulls it at some speeds that's good might get this field done quite quick right that's covering quite a lot isn't it couldn't have done that any better really I'm liking this In it. Really happy with this purchase. Good thing is as well, if anyone asks me to do contracts, um, I could 
could use my fertiliser spreader and I might be able to get these contracts done quite quick for them. With this thing, because I seem to be fertilising in a matter of seconds. And look at that, it's covered so much. I'll cover these end bits after. not be happy really with this purchase, I mean we've still got 10% left of U6, so I think we might have just timed this right hopefully. And just this last green corner, if we've got enough, we'll do his original bit at the bottom, all good. I think we could reach it from here actually, thinking about it. Get this put in, and then we'll go and get a um, we'll go and get a cedar, and we can finally plant. I think I'm going to go for the alfalfa. That's another item in the uh, in the bag. Take a quick look at the field. Make sure we're all looking good. Hopefully it's all fertilised. Yep, looking good. Ploughed. I think that's going to be good to uh, to start seeding. So let's get down to the shop and pick up our seeder. Back at the shop, coming up to one o'clock. I've just had my ploughman sandwich, as you do. First job, I'm going to go for the big bag of seeds. Now you know what. A pallet. I think it's going to be enough. Ah, oh, no, big bag. <laughs> we'll go for the big bag. Big bags. Let's get the seed big bag. Yeah, it looks nice. Not took too much off my balance. Let's get it loaded up and get back to the farm. Right, let's fill her up. Well, that's already full, 100%, and I've still got that there, so I could do it with a pallet truck actually, I'm going to save that. What I'll do is see if I can get a front loader. It might be worth taking that with me just to save. So let's try and get a front loader. And then we can take everything back with us. Right, where are we looking? Got to be the John Deere, ain't it? Obviously. Goes with the uh, tractor. Pallet fork. Yeah. We get the, just the standard. Change colour. I do like a blue. And I do like a white. The other thing's blue, so we'll go for blue. Let's get this front loader on. And then we can actually take the pallet with us. Just got to nip into the garage first though, because I've got a weight on the front, so um, I don't need that at the minute. So I'm going to try and take that weight off, because with the weight, I need the front loader. Oh, I haven't got the weight on. Oh. There we go then. Never mind, just need the front loader attached. Puts that on. Got the forks on. Check the button. Get the thing back on. See that. Get cut the pallet. And we're out of here.
Perfect. Set the old prof, don't need that. There we go, we're off. Gonna go a bit steady here though because pallets do fly off if you drive too quick, so every time we get to a corner we'll take it steady. Let's get this folded up, see if it won't fold it up for some reason. Must have unfolded it by accident. And uh, seeding the old town at that rate. We are back. It's coming up to two o'clock midday. What we'll do is leave this here. drop the seeds away. As you can see in the bottom it's uh, quite happy with that as well actually. We definitely want to find this pallet so I'll keep it in here, keep and dry. I've only used 60% of still got 40% left which is good. So when I buy another field we are already in business. So I will do is see if we can drop the whole lot. We can, right, so they'll stay attached to that now, so I can just pick that up. Good, good, good. Let's get on with the task of seeding. What we've been looking forward to. And we get this first field done and ready, and off we go. Old. Change my mind a bit here, I'm going to go for sunflowers. Looking at the thing though, I might be planting them a bit too early. But, it should still be okay. Let's have a look at weather forecast. Sunflowers need about seven. Might be a bit cold for them, but we are expecting rain on Wednesday, which is going to be good. Oh, or should I just go for something else? What else can we do? No, I'm going mm, corn. It's all about seeds. I'm going to stick with sunflowers. I'm going to risk it. We'll do sunflowers. Decided looking at everything, it's going to be sunflowers because I want to see what they look like when they're done. Between that and corn, but I'm about a few days early for planting, but the weather forecast looking alright. It's going to rain tomorrow, so it should still take. So, sunflowers it is. So, get this lowered, turn her on. We are sowing our first field. Satisfying to see. Let's get this field done. Sunflower seeds left, so practically it's taking the whole bag. But the field is done. Noticed a few weeds appearing. So, what we're going to do is tomorrow we're going to go down, 
get something to weed with and we'll get this field all um, tidied up but it's all planted it should rain tomorrow which will be good for the seeds thanks for watching here's the next one Maybach.